Hello friends, welcome to the cloud universe, myself Naveen and today's topic is Azure Storage Account Migration in Production. Azure Storage Account Migration in Production can be done using this strategy that is copy the data from source to destination before downtime window, sync the data during the downtime window. To be able to uh, copy the data from, from source to destination, we can make use of a tool called AZ Copy. The first step, copy the data from source to destination before downtime window should be done one day before or one hour before. That is, of course, uh, it depends on the amount of data which you want to transfer. And during the downtime window, you can just, you can just sync the data. When we go to demo part, we will be uh, using AZ copy tool to copy data across the resource groups. Uh, AZ copy is a command line utility uh, from Microsoft and you can download it from official Microsoft site according to your operating system. I already have downloaded it here. Now, if we go to demo part, uh, I have two resource groups created. One, one, is, one is source RG and destination RG. In source RG, I have a storage account called SRCSA where I have two containers, container 101, container 202. In container 101, I have a directory called cars and a file uh, called file2.txt. In, in this directory, there is one more file. And in container 202, I have two files, file 3 and file 4. And in destination resource group, I have a storage account that is destination storage account. Containers. As of now, there are no containers here. To copy the data from one storage account to another, uh, we need some kind of authentication. Uh, authentication. So if we go to source storage account, go to this blade that is it's called shared access signature. So it's a token. Uh, this token must be included with with uh, with all these options or if we want we can just remove some of the options allowed services blob file queue table allowed resource types service container object allowed permissions read write delete list add create update process immutable storage permanent delete enables deletion of versions uh, HTTPS only or both HTTPS and HTTP and of course you can choose a an expiry date here for this SAS token so basically this this SAS token uh, will be including all these all these permissions so AZ copy tool authenticates itself into your Azure environment with this SAS token generate SAS and connection string a connection string will be generated and also a, a, also a SAS token will be generated to do this uh, migration I have a PowerShell script source resource group destination resource group source storage account destination storage account now we'll generate the sas on the run on on the run uh, while executing this script why do we need we need to do that to keep the code clean uh, we should not just cop we should not just generate the uh, a SAS token from Azure portal and uh, use it here in the code. Uh, that 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 doesn't look good. And your your SAS token is a confidential data, so it should not be shown 
shown or put directly inside your code. So to achieve that, uh, we will be generating a SAS token on the run. To generate a SAS token on the run, we need to have connection string from that particular storage account. AZ storage account show connection string will do that magic. Resource group name, storage account name. So it generates, a, I mean, it gets the connection connection string from uh, that particular storage account. And AZ storage account generate SAS will do the magic of generating a SAS uh, connection string storage account name, expiry date. I'm just uh, using one day expiry date for this SAS. I'm adding one day to the to, uh, today's date. HTTPS only, permissions, ACDL, PRUWY. So these are from permissions. All these are permissions. And then resource types, SCO, resource types, SCO, services, BFQT, blob, file, queue, table. So we have to generate SAS token for both source storage account and destination storage account. And these these SAS must be added with with uh, this path that is https storage account dot blob dot core dot windows dot net and these must be separated with a question mark and and same goes to destination also and we can just uh, call this easy copy dot exe tool which we have gen which we have downloaded from uh, Microsoft site with copy option source destination and with recursive. So what is recursive here is for uh, it is for consider copying the data from source to destination including the subdirectories. Now I already have uh, logged into Azure using PowerShell. I'll just run the script. So it copied the data from source storage account to destination storage account. Uh, the link for this particular script is available under the description of this video. Now, if we go to a uh, destination resource group, destination storage account, containers, we can see container 101 and container 202 are copied from source to destination storage account. Now, if we go inside, you can see cars folder. There is one file, file2.txt and in container 202, two files have been copied. So, we'll see how to do the easy copy sync in the next video. Thank you.